General Assembly is taking up a number of bills this session that focus on the health and wellness of Virginians. Tonight, Brian Farrell joins us with a closer look as the proposals are moving through the state capitol. Let's start with something that could save people thousands of dollars. Lawmakers are trying to cap the cost of insulin to $30 for a 30-day supply. It had bipartisan support, and it passed in the House 98 to 1. The legislation also would prohibit a contract between the insulin providers and a pharmacy that would make a person pay any additional costs for a prescription. In other words, $30 will mean $30. Next, the effort to get rid of what people are calling the tampon tax. The Virginia Senate voted unanimously to make menstrual supplies that are sold in the Commonwealth tax-free. That would remove both sales and use tax. Stores charge around $9 for a box of 36 tampons. That means women spend more than $2,000 on hygiene products during their lifetime. Finally, let's talk about a bill that's been really controversial. The House and the Senate passed legislation that would ban gay conversion therapy on minors. Conversion therapy is a practice that's been discredited. It promises to change a person's sexual orientation or gender identity through intensive counseling. The bill would ban a licensed counselor from practicing it and if a counselor uses it and a complaint is filed, the counselor also would face disciplinary action. Some religious and family groups oppose the bill. They say it limits religious freedoms of families who want to seek counseling based on their faith. All of those bills have a few final steps before they become law.